beforehand and back and grip in badminton. In general, there are two different basic grip in badminton, which is forehand and backhand. Right? Although these two grip can be explored to many variety of grip, especially if you're an advanced player, it really depends on your situation. And uh, but today in this video, I just want to show you all the basic grip in badminton. How you apply it during the game or during practice. Alright, let's talk about forehand grip. Forehand grip is to hit the shuttle such as clear, drop shot, smash, Lifting shot, net shot, low serve and single, and high serve and single as well. You might want to apply this forehand grip when your opponent hit toward your right hand side. For example, as you can see in this picture, there are 12 number of the clock. I call it clock method. You might want to apply this forehand grip every time your opponent hit toward your 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, and 5 o'clock. I will show you how to hold a proper forehand grip. First, apply a handshake grip, just like you want to shake hand with someone. Second, grab your racket. Make sure you hold your racket on the lower area of your grip. As you can see in the video, I keep my index finger in the front and my thumb on the lower left side of the grip. Make sure you rest your thumb on the left side of the grip. Touch your thumb to your middle finger. As you can see in the video. Do not hold your racket too tight, otherwise you will lose all the power. Try to stay loose. Picture yourself that you're holding a blade right now. A blade from the knife. You don't want to hurt yourself, so you don't want to squeeze your racket too, high, too tight. Try to stay loose like this. For beginners, usually I draw a line from one end to the other end. As you can see in this, in this video, you can use a um, pen or marker. Have them hold their grip like this and then you can start drawing a line from here to here. This can help the player to remember if every time they're doing wrong, they can always look at the line and they can just, just follow. I saw a lot of beginners when they hold their racket, they hold it like this, they hold it like this, they hold it like this, or they hold it like this. You don't want to hold this kind of grip because you will not be able to use the power from your wrist. So you want to keep your index finger in the front. So when you hit the shuttle, okay, you can apply the power from your wrist. You can generate more power from your wrist like this. So this is how it looks like from the side. Okay, now let me show you what I mean by that. Keep your index finger in the front. And you can put your racket all the way down to the floor like this. And then what I want you to do is, I want you to push your thumb, oh sorry, push your index finger and your wrist in the same time. And I want you to push it down really, really hard. 
until you can see your racket bend like this. This is the simple proof that why using index finger and your wrist will benefit you more in order for you to get more strength. And if you hold your racket like this, okay, you can try to do the same thing and then see the result. Push it down. You will get less power. And then with this grip, try again. You will get less power compared to keeping your index finger further in the front. You might apply backhand grip when your opponent hit toward the center of your body to your left hand side, such as backhand serve, backhand flick serve. Defense, back and drive, back and lift, back and clear, back and drop, back and drop. Every time you see the body coming toward your left side, Pretty much, you might want to apply this backhand grip. Use the same clock method that I have described earlier. You might want to apply this backhand grip every time your opponent hit toward your 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock, 7 o'clock, and 6 o'clock. Next step, I will show you how to hold proper backhand grip. First thing, apply a pinching grip. Grab your racket. And as you can see in the video, your index finger and your thumb, they are about in the same level. You don't want to hold like this. You don't want to hold like this. Try to keep it balanced. Hold your racket nice and loose. Do not hold your racket too tight as well. Otherwise you will lose the power. Same concept as forehand grip. Drawing a line. If your player are beginner and they forget, they keep forgetting how to hold their racket, you might want to draw a line from one end to the other end. So that they know every time they forget how to do backhand, they can look at the line and they can follow the instruction. For example, As you can see, this is only the simple guideline for the beginners. So every time they forget, they can always take a look at the grip and follow the line. Backhand grip and forehand grip. Backhand grip, forehand grip. A lot of time, I saw so many people hit their backhand using forehand grip, like this. Lifting, lifting, lift. Okay, drive. Defense. First, maybe they don't know how to use backhand grip, and second, maybe they don't have time, uh, they don't have enough time to switch their, their backhand grip from forehand grip. So this grip, it's a big no-no for the backhand. You must hold your racket like this. Backhand grip. Nice and loose. Same thing for your backhand grip. Backhand grip, apply a pinching grip. Make sure your index finger and your thumb in the same level. Then you can put down your racket all the way and then push it.
if you're using your forehand grip while doing backhand you will not be able to generate more power because for backhand usually the power comes from your thumb forehand grip apply in backhand you push it you simply can feel right away that you will lose the power easily so for backhand grip you want to make sure that apply a pinching grip and push finally I will show you a couple tips how to practice your forehand grip and backhand grip first practice changing your grip with the net apply a forehand grip put it on top of the net rotate to backhand grip forehand backhand forehand backhand forehand backhand you might apply this slowly until you feel comfortable backhand forehand backhand once you feel comfortable with your forehand and backhand you can start increase the speed forehand backhand forehand backhand forehand backhand another option is to hit one o'clock eleven o'clock one o'clock eleven o'clock second option is just like a clock method one o'clock 11 o'clock 1 o'clock 11 o'clock you can apply this make sure as you swing your right hand you have to always swing back to the center so in the game you have to always go back to ready position like this forehand backhand forehand backhand 3 o'clock 9 o'clock 3 o'clock 9 o'clock 3 o'clock o'clock same thing as you swing your racket make sure you swing back to the center so every time you hit the shuttle you always go back to ready position three nine three nine three another one five o'clock seven o'clock five o'clock seven o'clock same concept always hit back to the center so every time you hit you always go back to ready position Forehand, backhand. Forehand, backhand. Each day, practice this. One minute, five sets. Forehand, backhand. Forehand, backhand. One minute, sets of five. One minute, sets of five. One minute, sets of five. Once you feel comfortable with changing your grip, you can apply it with the shuttle or during the game as well. Are you ready? Start slowly until you feel comfortable, and then you can change your grip faster, 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 faster. faster. All right, that's it for today's video. I hope this lesson will help to improve your forehand and make it.